Hey cruisers, it's Sherry with Cruise Tips TV. Welcome aboard the Norwegian Star. This is Versailles, the first of two main dining rooms available for traditional style dining. Versailles is located aft while Aqua, the second of the two, is located midship. Both are quite beautiful and you can choose which restaurant you prefer for main dining. Versailles stays true to its palatial namesake, styled with gold adorning the walls and ceilings and lush dark green and red carpeting on the floors. Aqua is more modern with cool blues, sparkly lights, and modern art hanging on the walls. We found Aqua to be somewhat noisy in the main area and requested seating around the right side corner where it was much more relaxed. The wine cellar is the public space for Le Bistro. It's designed to have a sidewalk cafe feel. Le Bistro is NCL's signature French Mediterranean restaurant specializing in continental dining. The dark tones and dim lighting give it an intimate, romantic feel. Contrary to the name, it is an upscale, elegant French-style restaurant, not a bistro. La Cucina specializes in Italian food such as pasta, pizza, and other popular Italian fare. Good stuff here, and a great place to enjoy some comfort food. Gatsby's is Star's Champagne Bar. In the evenings, it features live music, typically with a solo pianist. But we've heard on some occasions members of the ship's show band join in for jazz performances. Filming was not permitted in the casino, but yeah, it looks nice in there. Lots of noisy machines with twinkling lights. Stardust Theatre is the main entertainment venue. Walking through the elaborately styled entranceway should be a hint of the elegance that awaits inside. We are told the Stardust design was inspired by the classic European opera houses. And yeah, I see it. The Spinnaker Lounge features a full bar and a dance floor. By day, the Spinnaker is home to any number of special events, from Zumba classes to returning guest soirees, but by night, it's host to late night music and dancing. The Atrium Cafe and Bar is where you want to be when you want that double latte with extra foam. The Java Cafe has a wide variety of specialty coffees, teas, pastries, and cookies. 
Also in the beautiful atrium are guest services, the shore excursions desk, and the Galleria gift shops. The Red Lion Pub is a traditional English pub featuring large screen TVs and proper beer on tap. And true to its pub atmosphere, this venue is also used for trivia contests and other games. In the evenings, there is often live music and or karaoke. Ginza Restaurant is an Asian fusion venue with Thai and Japanese and Chinese fare. And as with most other specialty restaurants on board, there is a cover charge. If you're craving expertly prepared sushi or sashimi, Ginza is the place to be. And what goes better with sushi? Sake, of course. You won't want to miss this inviting little sake bar just adjacent to the sushi bar. The Teppanyaki restaurant has a large single table and features chefs performing as they prepare entertaining hibachi style dishes. It's dinner only here, and there is, of course, a cover charge. If you're in the mood for a little ocean air walk, the Star has one of the most colorful and interesting promenade decks we've seen. Blue Lagoon, on the terrace overlooking the ship's main lobby, features a simple menu of comfort food like burgers, breakfast, and other similar items. Moderno Churrascaria, on the other adjacent balcony is very similar in decor as Blue Lagoon, and the two are separated and served by this lovely bar. The Internet Cafe is the only public area on Deck 9. It's good size compared to some we've seen on other ships, and seems quite modern and comfortable. Head aft to find the spa on deck 11. This is where you want to be if you're into being pampered aboard the ship. There's a full service beauty salon and spa offering a wide range of treatments. There are also indoor hot tubs and a lap pool. The Market Cafe is the ship's buffet and features a remarkable selection of food. There is also a special kids cafe area for children with smaller chairs and tables, but sadly it wasn't open during our sailing. The Top Ciders Bar near Oasis Pool has a terrific selection of drinks and serves them up with a smile. The Grill, right next to Top Ciders, serves mouth-watering eats for fast poolside fuel ups. Yeah, looks good. And speaking of pools, here's a good look at the Oasis pool, hot tubs, and slides. The twin corkscrew slides are pretty tame by some standards, but should bring a smile to the face of the young or young at heart. There are plenty of lounge chairs for sunning, but you won't see them empty like this very often. This last hot tub is technically on deck 13 forward at the sun deck. The Splashdown Kids Pool is a space-themed wet water wonderland for pint-sized cruisers. With dual slides, a hot tub, and paddling pools, if you have little ones, this is where they'll want to be.
There's even a shower masquerading as a rocket ship, a teeter-totter, and hey, a ping-pong table. Bonus. The Barong Fitness Center is open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. with a full-service gym and aerobics and fitness classes offered daily. There are plenty of options here for those looking to stay fit on board. Bikes, treadmills, and other torturous machines abound. All seem to be in excellent condition when we visited. Stop by the video zone if you're looking for something a little less strenuous. There's lots of heart thumping action to be had here. Race cars, shoot bad dudes, or maybe go old school with a little air hockey. And there are these claw type games if you like to be frustrated, yeah. The library is always an option if you really want to relax and enjoy a good book. It's pretty cozy in here. Stop by the Entourage Teen Club if you've got teens, or you are a teen. They've got teen stuff here. Air hockey, foosball, or table soccer. board games, couches, and chairs, and of course, a big TV. Cagney's is the star's sophisticated American-style steakhouse and features panoramic views over the surrounding sea on the port and starboard side. Check the description below for a link to a full video review of Cagney's. Star Bar right next to Cagney's is a terrific place to relax and have a drink with friends. It has gigantic windows looking over the main pool deck, so it's a great place to sit and just take in the view. On the sports deck, you'll find the jogging track perfect for burning off a few extra. And of course, you'll also find the golf driving net complete with clubs. If shuffleboard is your game, you won't have to go far. You can shoot some hoops just up the stairs on deck 14 in the basketball court. And finally, the beer garden. It has a great view of the ship and is a terrific place to hang out, just as long as it isn't too windy outside. That's it for this episode. Thanks for touring Norwegian Star with us. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Psst, don't forget to subscribe. Click me or use the links below.